Okay, the final tool in the toolbox for the basic approach is the heads in perspective. Heads in perspective. Now, in order to draw a head in perspective, before we get into that, I want to discuss why drawing a head in a gestural manner is important. Because a lot of beginners, when they're drawing heads, they draw them pretty stationary, like uh, like a turd head. It's just uh, very flat and and like it's piled up, and and you lose a lot of uh, emotion when you're drawing your heads. So let's say this you were to draw a head like this. This is a man's head, or a sumo wrestler's head. And he's just hanging out here. His head is just flat. It's straight on. And there's no movement. A lot of beginners, when they're drawing heads, it's always, they always draw the neck very straight, like here. And then they draw the eyes. And here's a third quarter view. So, what I want you to get you to do is to stop doing this. This is a no. And start doing, start drawing your heads with more motion. So when we're doing the basic approach, what you should think about when you're, when you're drawing heads is to always think about uh, the tilt of the head. Now the tilt and the, the height, width, and depth sort of come in at the second stage of the drawing right after gesture. But I want you to be thinking about how you can draw the head in different angles. You see, now, here's a head, and I'm putting a dot here. We usually put a dot um, when the head is seen in a perspective. Then we will draw a line, a wrapping line, around the head. And then you'll add the neck, like so. Now, that is the gestural manner as we, as we flow through the body. When we're drawing heads, first draw your circle, right? You draw a circle. And don't, don't draw the neck all the time from the bottom. Don't even start with the neck. Start with the tilt. See the tilt first. So you want to draw the head tilting this way. That doesn't mean, you know, you're going to be drawing heads spinning around like like on a like on a pin or something, but you know, you want your heads to not just be looking like this all the time. So draw your circle, then draw the line for the tilt, then draw a, a wrapping line to show perspective. Say I want the head to go up here. Or I could have drawn a wrapping line going down here. But I say I want the wrapping line to go here. Now that we've drawn the tilt for the neck, the gesture for the uh, for the head, you draw the tilt for the head, tilt for head. We draw the tilt for the neck now. So let's say I want the neck going this way. This is a gesture line for the neck. Now this this is now no longer just flat on like this. There's less emotion when you're drawing just a head and and then the neck and then the, into the torso like this. Now there's motion to this. You see now you get to, now you get into the neck and then you touch the pit of the neck right here. Now let's draw a gesture for the shoulder. So I want the shoulder going this way. Okay, I want the neck and the shoulder connecting like this. And so now to complement this, I will wrap around and put a C curve right here. That is to denote pinch. Okay, and we wrap around. In the neck, 
the neck and the back is higher and in the front it's lower so if you were to wear a tie that's you can you can understand how if you were to tie that's how you're able to wear your tie so as you see here that's how we can get heads to look a lot better so now when to finish it off here draw the line come over here and then to get the jaw in, we now this isn't a head drawing class, but you know there's a the um, the chin and and there you go. So that's a lot more emotion you're getting for for the um, for the neck than if you to just draw it with a circle and then. A neck. So what I'm trying to say here and get to you guys here is to draw heads for gesture, think of tilt always. Think of if we're going to do perspective, think put the dot here. Here's I'm going to draw a couple circles. The dot for here could be a head here, and then we draw a wrapping line. Here is the neck. I could put dot here. This will denote that this we're looking at uh, or here. This will say that we're looking from above the, the head. And then we put in put the neck in here and then we put the shoulder like this. See we'll put the shoulder like this. So that's how you get in your, your body. We'll put the dot right here, and and so on, and so forth. So this is how you you get your heads in a circle. Only a dot when if the if you see the head from above, but in general, if you see it straight on, and to get the neck. So you can put the line here, or if you want to exaggerate the neck, try giving it. Uh, try giving the head first a tilt first. So draw a line. Draw a tilt line. Then you put a wrapping line for where you put the tilt, and then go the opposite way. Go put, put a line here for the neck, and put. Then make another tilt for the the shoulder. It could go here, or it could just be you know straight. And um, and that's how we get heads here. Okay. So again, to do heads, we start with a circle or oval. I should say oval. Whatever you prefer. I mean, it depends on the character. If you're doing uh, more cutesy style, uh, I usually do start with circles. Or if you're doing more realistic, like oval. That's the first step. These are steps. Circle. Then decide on your tilt. So there, the tilt is like an axis. It could be straight. It could go this way, this way. This way, not too extreme. To the extreme, but you know, I don't think a head will go like this. But somewhere around here, you know, in between as well. You want to you want to determine your tilt, and then for the neck, you want to determine the the the, the neck as also a tilt to the shoulder. The shoulder should also be a tilt, and the tilt for the shoulder could go up, could go this way. Really, the notion of the tilt of the shoulder is also dependent on the clavicle. So, in order to find the clavicle, you'll find the pit of the neck here, and the pit of the neck is where you know the muscles of the neck come in. 
and then you'll come find a manubrium here in the sternum, you know. So there's also a gesture to the clavicle. And this is a, a bit more advanced, but you see, if you wanted to make sure you, you know how to tilt your neck here, this is how you do it. And then so your shoulder will come out like this, right? Again, advanced stuff, but the general approach here is circle or oval tilt to get your your gesture circle tilt then neck and then shoulder find tilts stay away from flat man here this is flat man flat man he's a fat guy a big guy for you uh, stay away from this guy you want your you want your stuff to uh, be more dynamic Okay, so that's all for the that's all for the basic approaches. And in the next video, we will go over. Uh, we'll combine all of this stuff and go over a general approach to doing the gesture. Okay.